Hello everyone. Today I'm going to continue on Salesforce Einstein API. In one of my last videos, I covered Einstein Intent API. Today I'm going to cover one additional Einstein API, which is uh, another deep learning model. So before we dive in into actual code and demo, just wanted to give you a high level overview. I covered it in one of my previous videos, but just to quickly cover it again, Einstein platform services provide you two broader categories of deep learning model APIs, Einstein Vision and Einstein Language. I did cover Einstein Intent in one of my earlier videos. Now I'm covering Einstein Image Classification. As I've listed down directly from the help, Einstein Image Classification enables you a deep learning model to recognize and classify images at scale. And we will see how it does it. In terms of the models, certainly you can build your own models and that I'm hoping to do it in some of my next, next videos. Today, what I'm planning to cover are some of the built-in models that Einstein, uh, Einstein services provide you by default. These are food image models, journal image models, scene and multi-label models. And we will use these models today to classify some of the images and see how it works. In terms of the setup side, there is a one-time setup that you had to go through. You have to sign up for the Einstein. You have to download the RSA private key, keep it handy so that you can generate the token. And for per API call, you're, you need to pass that token to get the predictions out. So this covers you on high level. Once again, we are going to use the existing models today. In terms of the specific scenario that I'm planning to cover, I, I have set up a lightning page. I've set up an Apex controller and I'm going to be from my controller, I'm going to be calling the Einstein API. Uh, so after this setup, what I'm hoping to get today is uploading these images and getting some sort of a prediction from the Einstein image API. Sounds interesting, let's get going. So the first model that I wanted to cover is the food image classifier. This is one of the four models that I mentioned earlier. I will be passing the one of the images as covered by the Einstein API. And when I do the prediction, what happens over here is the, the highest prediction is for pizza. This is how the food image classifier model is classifying that image. Just to take you a little bit deeper on the backend code, on the right hand side, these are the various Salesforce classes that I've set up. This is my lightning page and the controller for the lightning page is find vision controller, which is essentially calling the Einstein vision API, which is a wrapper class that I've written down. And Einstein vision API is calling essentially the underlying Einstein API. It, 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 it constructed HTTP uh, API call and then call the actual Einstein API to get the results back. The actual results are coming back in a JSON format and then I'm constructing it uh, in and formatting it into an HTML to make it look nicer as you can see on the right hand side. So let's see if I if I call this API again. Let's say if I do this one continue. Um, you can see on the browser on my right hand side that a lot of details and call calls are happening. If I open it up this is actually behind the scene the logs the log that I'm, uh, salesforce is constructing for me and if i just do a debug i have some some of the debug clauses coming out this is the actual json coming back as you can see on this side so pizza probability 48 and what you can see on the left hand side is essentially construction of this in a more user friendly manner the use case can be a lot more different you certainly are going to take this input enable some of the workflows accordingly, but just wanted to give you behind the scene. If you are interested to take a look at this code and want to explore it further, I'm happy to share with you. Just ping me and then I can pass it to you. Let me try actually one more image. I have uploaded some images on my S3. So this is one of the image of a salad with avocado. And uh, when I try to predict it, as you can see in this case, it, d it does find that there is um, 41 percent probability for an avocado in it so now let's try a different model which is a journal image model in this case I'm using the journal image classifier the model ID is journal image classifier I am I pick up a image with different balls in it so now let me try to predict this and 
as you can see over here it actually predicts uh, that this one has baseball volleyball soccer ball rugby ball and basketball so just going back to the original scenario that i set up we covered this in a short video that we uploaded different images use the two of the models certain images similar patterns you can apply different models and using some of the simple lightning cage and apex controller we were able to quickly show that how the api works out in some of the next videos i plan to build my own model which is also a very interesting topic to cover and uh, looking forward to have you on that journey too thank you very much